Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Miguel Ramalho, and today I bring you a less technical talk, all right? This is a disclaimer. I'm going to give you a talk that's much lighter uh, because I figured I want to do something different, and also because we'll have uh, a lot of time to get uh, our hands dirty uh, along the next few days. So do not expect any of this in my talk, all right? Let's just skip it. Uh, this is me, a brief presentation. I'm a master's student. I'm in the first of two years of a master's degree in Portugal. Uh, that's Portugal. Uh, we, we are known for Cristiano Ronaldo and other things. Uh, but we, are, we also have a, a growing quantum community. Um, so what I'm going to talk to you about today is my experience in learning computing, uh, quantum computing. Uh, I didn't do this through a university degree. I did this on my own, and I want to share with you the troubles I had, uh, the lessons I learned, and some takeaways that you'll see at the end. So it all started in 2018, uh, more or less a year ago. I was already interested in quantum computing, but I, I didn't know a lot about it. And the first, the first uh, I would say, the sparkle that ignited uh, my interest was a TEDx talk by Prof Professor Kuhn Bertels. He's from Delft University, perhaps you've heard of him. And it really got me interested in the topic, and so I decided to start investing on it. I first started uh, Professor Vazirani's course on Berkeley, Berkeley edX. Probably some of you have also done this course. And then I just, I had a few opportunities at my university, like lectures of invited speakers. I read some books, surveys, forums. I started getting the gist of it. And also, of course, uh, like many of you, I don't doubt, I started hacking around Qiskit. And this was also a mark, like a milestone because I felt like I could have feedback and I'm from a background in computer science, so f f feedback for us is very important. And Qiskit had, was essentially a good opportunity to have that. And so last summer, I was at an event in, in my university, University of Porto, and Professor Cohen Bertels actually was there to give a talk. And so I eventually had a chance to engage with conversation with him, and I asked him if it would make sense for me to make uh, my Erasmus for one semester in Delft, and then try and apply for, for the thesis on the second semester. This is how my course is designed. Uh, so it would be a total of one year. And his answer left me, well, uh, I couldn't answer. He just said, no. You're there with expectations and someone tells you no. And then he said, well, you, you see, we've tried and it doesn't work. If you want to invest in your quantum education, you need to take a leap. This is a cliff, you have to jump, and we'll be there to catch you, but you have to give everything. And this really stuck. Uh, and so I eventually learned about uh, IBM, IBM's contest. Uh, it was already a bit late for a few of them, and so I decided to go for the Teach Me Quantum. Uh, actually, it made the most sense, given what you've just heard. I had a lot of different sources of information, but I felt that I, I needed a place where I could have, for instance, learned about Qiskit and quantum mechanics at the same time. And that was lacking. So this happened, okay? This was my project for the Teach Me Quantum. I'm not going to go very deep into details. It's available, on, available online. It's actually open source. So the idea behind it is to have something that teachers all over the world can go there, fork, and make their own. And then they can adapt it to their, to their students. Um, and essentially, it just goes from the basics and always tries to, uh, and I always try to give exercises like using the tools we, we've already seen, uh, and have, giving people a chance to, do, to have this feel, like I wanted to have had, um, about what it is to feel what you are learning. And this, uh, well, it went well. So taking a leap was worth it. OK, and so now I want to leave you with a few remarks to think about. The first one is all or nothing. And this is the one I've already explained uh, more thoroughly. If we are here, and as I think all of you are, you are here for a reason. You want to invest in this field, and if it makes sense to you to be here, then it makes sense to put all of you into this. And this is the first thing that I learned about, uh, about this area. And of course, this is not just for quantum computing, but 
like Professor Kuhn said, you have to take the leap. And then another thing, this is also uh, extrapolated from what I told you. You can turn your problems, for instance, you are using Qiskit at home and you find a bug or you find an imprecision, a typo, anything. The, the good thing about open source is that you are already turning problems into solutions. You go to Qiskit, you fork it, you make a pull request and you solve the, those problems. And this, I think, sometimes is something you we don't do on a larger scale. Because we have a problem and we solve it for ourselves. But what if we can just solve it for everyone at the same time? This is the way of progress. And lastly, this is actually a challenge I want to leave you with. Uh, we are a growing community. I would say that critical mass is at our doorstep. So it's our responsibility to let it in. We're not, I think, there yet. So we have a community that is growing. And it will continue growing, I'm sure. But one thing that we can take away is take today's, today's uh, technical standing. We have our main limitation is building quantum computers. We already have the algorithms. We just need better mach machines. How could, for instance, IBM's labs uh, try to get the community to help them solving their problems, their daily problems, that would, of course, have an impact on building quantum computers, in instead of just doing th that in-house? You know what I mean? You have to try to make use of this freelancing quantum community. OK, and now I just want to leave you again with a, with a final remark. This is something I brought from Portugal. It's not from Cristiano Ronaldo, OK? And it's from a Portuguese poet. And what he said at a certain point was, put all that you are into everything that you do. And this is the message I bring and the message I want to leave you with. Uh, his name is actually Fernando Pessoa. It's roughly translated, OK? Uh, and so that's it. I look forward to meeting you over the next few days, and thank you. <laughs>